Today, we're gonna be greasing some bearings. Good for heavy duty trucks, farm equipment, and construction equipment, and campers. <laughs> for this job, you need a grease gun, and you need grease. We chose Lucas Extra Duty, Extra Heavy Duty Grease. It's recommended because it's for high speed bearings, high temperatures, and irregular maintenance. So doing your bearings typically once a year at the beginning of the season, this is the perfect stuff to get. It's not very expensive. I wanna say it was about six bucks a tube, and one tube did two bearings. So not bad. You also need a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. Probably best to have a rubber mallet, but I don't have one, so just be careful. And you're also gonna want the blue rubber gloves, the nitrile gloves that I wear when we empty our black tank, and a whole lot of rags. They're not necessities, but trust me, you're gonna want them. Step one, jack up the camera. We've got a block of wood in between our jack and our frame because the jack that we've got won't quite go high enough. So we got a four by four, it's in there really good. Make sure that you're not going to be hitting any lines that run from the front of the back to the camper. I know that our gas line is on the other side and we'll show you that when we get to that one. But right now we're pretty good and this is going up. The first step would be removing this rubber seal. This on the first this one looks like it's cracked right around the center here. So I'm assuming that once I take it out, it's gonna come apart, which it did not. That is the cover which protects dirt and dust from getting inside the wheel and the bearing and such. This is the grease zerk that you want to use. You can take this cap off if you choose or you can leave it on. They don't come on and off very easily, but it's a little bit easier to show you what I'm gonna be doing with the cap off. So let's take it off. You wanna get behind the cap with a screwdriver and it pops off. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. I bent mine a little bit, so I just gotta get a pair of pliers and straighten that out so it goes back on right. Easy as pie, just oh, aluminum, it bends easily. So there we go. Um, set that in the cap to the side. You get your glove. And then you fit your grease gun on the grease zerk. Start pumping. It takes a lot of pumps to push the old grease out and get the new grease in. So. And make sure as you do this, you give your tire a good spin keep the bearings moving. I think I'm running out. Oh, no, never mind. And as you push the old grease out, make sure you get rid of the big goobers falling out here. As you go, otherwise it becomes unmanageable and it gets everywhere. And don't worry, you're gonna get grease on everything. Just make sure you are in clothes that you don't mind about getting dirty. Make sure you got paper towels and rags and plenty of blue gloves laying around.
because this gets gross. Blah. I'll say it looks like we're we're intermixing here towards the end. <laughs> My fingers are a little too big <laughs> to fit in the in between the nut and the back. So it's looking pretty ugly here. Maybe I'll use there we go, my ring finger fits in there just right. It's like Cinderella at the ball. Or the three bears. You gotta squeeze all of the old grease out until you see the new grease come in from the back. And while you're going, you want to take the old stuff out and move it out of your way. This is why you wear gloves. It's a lot of grease. Plus you'll be able to see the new grease coming in from behind here. the old black and the new green stuff that we're using. And then once you got yourself cleaned up pretty good, there's obviously gonna be some grease still on here. Don't worry about it. Grease is good. You put the center cap back on. I have a little teeny hammer. You don't wanna use like a sledge and you're just gonna tap it back in. These do bend really easy. So just kind of give it a little love taps all the way around. Kind of see it going in. Make sure you're even. Even a rubber mallet might be good for this too. But I don't grab one. I just have this. So get it seated. There we go. Ding, 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 ding. A couple extra times on the outside for good measure. And then you're putting the cap back in. Make sure you inspect it for cracks. Like I said, it looked cracked right around the edge here, but I don't know, we should be all right. I'm gonna be ordering a, a new one for the other one anyway, since I broke it. There's the broken one. You can see the center just fell right out. <laughs> so if I get four of them, I'll replace this one too, just to be on the safe side, but so this guy just goes back in like so, there we are. That again, keeps all the dirt and dust and gunk out of your grease. So is it a fun job? Not really but it sure beats paying hundreds of dollars to have somebody at the dealership do it for you. It is doable, it's not difficult, it's just annoying and time consuming, but trust me, it's well worth your time and money. And most importantly, you need to do this at least once a year, if not twice. Depends on how much you travel, but they have to be done, otherwise you can run into some serious problems. And I almost forgot, Happy camping.